Avant que les gens sachent qui ils étaient, ils étaient connus comme le meilleur bandit armé du Texas de l'Ouest, le frère Buckshot et le tireur le plus rapide du comté de l'Est. Depuis leur retraite soudaine, ils ont toujours des problèmes d'ego liés à leur héritage accompli. Ils se présentent comme frère Crooks, frère Buckshot et le bandit armé usé du comté de l'Est qu'ils appellent frère Bilo. How you doing, Crooks? Must have taken you a week or so to get down here. Must have some wicked travel stories to tell us. We'll have our fella pour you a drink. You can tell us all about it. Yeah, your drink does sound mighty fine. After a long odyssey, my lips are as dry as an anus. Anus lips after a long week in the Texas desert. It's classic. Now pour him a drink, goddammit. Careful with that drink, son. It goes down mighty smooth. Now why don't you start telling us why you came all the way down here from West Texas to talk about anus lips? I'm retired. I don't shoot no more. Hey, Crooks, are you mentally or physically retired? Because I retired a long time ago. You got something you want to say? I'm saying we're all retired in some level. I can't see for goddamn shit, all right? Ah, scusi, lui deve andare, sì, va bene. No, he mani, poi ne mi sono mandato, you know, is a more than my daughter. Tanto a fame, sì, si deve andare. Un stugliato. Marcello a browser. Sì, va bene, sta mi sono mandato, sì, non va bene. Sta busse la serse robente uno, is a I never said I was deafy old buffoon. Then why don't you start telling us why you came down here, Crooks? Boys, I was just here to rest, all right? Bullshit, crooks. You came all the way down here from West Texas to unleash your retired ego and your retired eyes upon my saloon. Like the vapor you are in the wind, being eaten by gates. No bullshit, fuckshot. My ego <laughs> knows no bounds. My eyes, though, are as blind as Marcel Bruce. Wait, you don't think I got the range or acting chops to play Marcel Bruce here? Marcel Bruce, you say? Nobody said that name in years. That blind bastard. Those eyes. Those pitless, soulless eyes. I haven't seen eyes like that since I was a young man. I'm a shot. But it's prime. Listen here, brother Crooks. I ain't got time for the rest. I need you to tell me what the hell you're doing here hiding in West Texas at Bonato's Ranch. I'll strike you with the fury I hit the congressman Kerry with, or his wife who was killed by accident, brother Buckshot. Well, congressman Kerry was causing some ruckus over there. His wife was causing some ruckus over here. Buckshot! No more ruckus. You think I'm kidding, Crooks? I'll blast through your chest like I did CJ Parnassus. You want more, huh? I will terminate your crusty ass like I terminated the ass of Dr. A. Boylington and his fucking husband. His husband? Oh, yeah? What'd he do? Nothing. That's the point. I ended him like I will you if you keep running your damn yapper. Boylington was a good man. Good doctor. Well, yeah, what's your agenda? 
Escaping the authorities is my priority. I get your point, Brother Below, but here's mine. I ain't just come here to rest or dig or ruffle our egos. I came here to make a truce. You know crooks. Everybody in my saloon knows they fucking hey, boss. I don't know. Brother Crooks, your intentions were just as good as Marcel Bruce's eyesight. I'll tell you what happened to Mr. Malnado and Marcel Bruce. What's the catch? There ain't no way to prove it. And since we're both physically retired, I want you to admit that I have a better shot than you. That's impossible. Blasphemous, crude, rude, and obscene, Crooks. That's simply not true. It's fictional theory. Fancy land hypothesis. You know what, Crooks? I don't think you know who you is. But you're in East Canada now, boy. The only place you can spin a jar of pickles and hope a voodoo lobster gets to it first. Marcel Bruce would disagree. You're the one who blinded him. Let's take it easy now, Crooks. Don't need to trigger no buckshot. I got the trigger they ain't gonna see coming. Take it easy now, buckshot. I got them guns, too. Your shot looks like a sleeveless wizard in the wind being played by a spider monkey from Chester Bay. Chester Bay? Did you just say Chester Bay? I haven't heard that in a long, long time. Something you're trying to say here, Bucky? No, nah, no, nah, he ain't saying no Chester Bay. He said he called you a little bitch. Dirty little bitch, boy. Boy. Put your finger down, boys. Don't make me whoop your ass like I did Sheriff Woodcock back in 52. Woodcock, he was a good man. A good protector of the law and the town. A protector and a friend. And you killed him in cold blood. The blood was so cold, Crooks. Prickle frost indeed. What's your excuse, huh? Before I throw you down a well. Maybe we got off on a swollen foot, you know? Maybe we should clear our heads, calm down, maybe you know, take a walk outside, perhaps. What do you say? I ain't going nowhere until this jagoff looks me in the eye and tells me I got a better shot than him. You have a better shot than me, Crooks. Do you mean that? Yes, Crooks, I do. Goddamn right. Woo! My ass is on fire! My ass is on fire! Be careful with that drink, son. It goes down mighty smooth. 